You might be wondering, why are you sitting in a hotel room? Uh, and that would be fair to ask. I am currently in Greece on holiday. I've been learning about drones and specifically, I've been learning about the different types of movements and inputs and how those are different to our regular DJI type drones. Uh, so welcome to another episode. My name is Michael and this is Learning to FPV. have this with me so I'm going to use these this as a demonstration tool to kind of explain the different things that I've learned over the last few days. The first thing we're going to talk about are the four different inputs you can put into a drone. We're going to talk about how those are manipulated, very basically how those are manipulated and then the last thing we're going to talk about is how how, how does that differ, how does the, the inputs on this differ to those you would see on an FPV drone like the one I'm intending on building flying and showing all of you. Great. The four movements we're going to talk about are pitch, roll, yaw, and then not a movement but an input toggle. Okay. As I said, I'm going to use this as a, as a demonstration and for the entire way through this, I'm going to talk about the different axes that those movements are about and that might help you understand um, what, what's going on. So the first thing we're going to talk about is pitch. Now pitch is the movement about this axis okay so if you imagine if we stuck a pole through the side of the drone here um, and then twisted it about that that's what pitch is pitch moves the drone like this and like this okay two roll roll is about if you imagine if you put if you hold on the end here roll is movement about this axis three yaw yaw if you put a pull straight through here, your is the spinning axis and that's how you move a drone like that. Okay, the last one is throttle. Throttle is how much power, how, how fast and obviously each of these work independently from each other. So when you apply throttle, depending on the other inputs, it will vary the speed on, on each of the motors different to each other to allow you to achieve those specific movements that you are trying to do. Great. Now, something I did learn is that each of these motors spin in a different direction, right? And, and, and all of them spin towards the inside. Okay. Towards the inside, towards the inside, towards the top of the drone here. They spin inwards and down the same as the bottom they spin towards here. So they go uh, this way and then and up. And the same as this one, we'll go this way and then up. Now, when I go to build a drone, I need to make sure that all of those are tuned correctly so they're spinning in the right direction. Cool, so the last thing I wanna talk about is how is that different? How is this different to what I'm gonna build? Insert this. This is, this is what I wanna build and, and this uh, uh, is slightly different and I'll, I'll tell you how so I have the controller here and when I put inputs into these these return to the center and if you're familiar with uh, DJI drones or any of these kind of commercial drones you'll know that for example if you push forward on the drone it will if you push forward on this left hand stick that is pitch it will tilt the drone forward and you'll fly forward the gimbal will be super stable and will keep the shot like that as soon as you let go the drone levels out and hovers okay that's one of the big differences these auto level and the sticks return to center because they're waiting for your input and between your input and movement it just has software adjusting to everything with a whole lot of sensors and the gps and it does that with all the movements and everything at the same time so if you push forward and roll at the same time and then you let go of the roll it'll level forward and keep going there and then it'll go back to level as soon as you let go of the pitch thing. The next thing is that DJI drones have have gimbals. So the camera is on a gimbal. So no matter what it's doing, the the camera is always steady like a chicken. You know, a chicken, if you lift up a chicken, it's... Right, so uh, I said like a chicken's head. That's... 
I mean, I don't really know how to explain it other than that. Uh, uh, DJI drones have gimbals. These other ones don't have gimbals. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you a video of a chicken today, okay? That's what a gimbal does, okay? FPV drones don't have gimbals, always. They, the typical ones, like the ones me and you are gonna try build, have a GoPro stuck on the top and it's fixed view. And that's where the first person view comes from, FPV. So those are the major differences. Everything returns to center, the drone auto levels itself out. It's controlled by loads of different sensors and the inputs are modified based on those sensors, GPS data, photographs of the ground, etc. Right. Um, as a, as Joshua Bardwood will say, this is a this is a me again from the future. Um, and, and perhaps what I didn't explain is that uh, all those inputs uh, that the software does, you won't have on an FPV drone. Everything on an FPV drone is manual input by the pilot. So that's another reason why it's super important to understand these concepts and also to spend the appropriate time on the simulator, which is what I'm trying to do. So the next video is gonna be how I have been practicing and how I think you should be implementing your practice regime to become the best pilot that you can be. So um, I'm gonna let that guy finish up. Um, uh, yeah, because I think he's got some more things to say. Kind of a weird video, I suppose, because I'm in a hotel room and I'm and I'm not famous and only famous people talk from hotel rooms. So this is kind of cool, I guess. Um, cool. Thanks for tuning in um, and I will hopefully see you around. Maybe. Bye.